Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Today, we won't have any crazy ass intro, but I assure you that the content will be beautiful. Today, we'll be talking about dark subjugation, okay? It's very important because, well, that's the only place where you can get fucking awake, uh, super boosting keys. Like, it's really important for free to play players to like try their best to get as much points as they can possible so basically what i would suggest all the free to play players or new gamers like blah blah blah, blah, blah set your target at 450k damage and once you reach there then it's kind of hard to reach 650 um but 450 is definitely doable so what we're gonna do here today is like i have three accounts what well, this is completely free to play I'll just show you here. This is an alt that I just play on the side. It's like uh, this is the one that I made the shark shooter uh, video with, and sometimes I don't even log in. Like um, I don't know how many days this. Uh, okay, so basically it's twenty eight plus six, so it's thirty four days old, one month old. Um, basically, hi. I've not been playing this account too much. I just keep autoing it, and then yeah, that kind of thing. So like I just recently like uh. Uh, on on this account back uh, and I basically geared how many times did I say basically um, <laughs> well I, I tried to gear my unit with six star gears like uh, trying to push the boundaries but look I have 13k coal but without further ado let's go and do some duck subjugation and I will tell you why I put these units inside and da 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 Okay, um, so like as a free to play player, you won't have like so called much option, right? Uh, free to play slash casual. Okay, you can be free to play and really hardcore and progress really far as well. This account is for like free to play, not hardcore, chill gamer kind of shit. Okay, so I must first tell you the these are the things that you want to look out for to have in your team. For the early stages of Chaos, Knockdown is really good to have. So like, assuming that we wouldn't like last too long towards the end. So I, I just, in, with this team, I'm just focused on bursting. Like, uh, how do I put this? Um, focusing on the first half of the Chaos, basically. Uh, and I did not purposely create this team to do Chaos. It just so happened a team that I have. And this team is definitely not the conventional Ember Smolder Flare Wolf kind of team, right? So I went with all the so-called second-rated, uh, underrated units. Like people would always pick Ember over Spitfire, but just for you know content purposes, I picked uh, Spitfire, and now he's uh, super boost four, three or four, I think three, uh, all by keys and all that kind of jazz. So like, okay, I'll just go through the points that you most probably need to know. First and foremost, Chaos has. 80% effect uh, resistance, okay? You're not gonna land shit unless you have like at least 150% effect accuracy, I would say. 70% more than what he has as effect resistance, so like I'm assuming you'll get around like 70% 70 70 chance to land it. Um, I have my dude here at like 167 effect accuracy, so that's why his bombs are landing. So you might want to consider that when building your team. Um, not say building your team, but at least like manage your expectations. If let's say you don't have any effect accuracy on you, don't hope to land any shit on this boss. And he has 2000 accuracy, if I'm not mistaken. How do I see his accuracy? Yeah, this 173, 173% accuracy, it's... It keeps going up. If I'm not mistaken, it keeps going up. Like, um, you, look at this. 2000 accuracy. Um, but... Yeah, I mean like, so like, that being said, evasion is not a strat you want to go with. So, what I would suggest for your team is to have a freeze debuffer. Okay, freeze debuffer, and the cheapest option available is chill. Okay, and your next question is, can he land it reliably? Yes, he can. It's a three turn uh, freeze, and what freeze does is basically... Um, increasing the cooldown time on all the bosses skills so basically they go on cooldown uh, for a longer period of time so you'll get lesser damage I don't know if that makes sense to you but it should make sense 
So we can't really, um, how do I put this, like debuff him. So our best bet is buffing ourselves. So defense buff is also very good here. Units like Jetvac is very good. Uh, and any other unit that buffs defense for the entire team. I think Zulu would be a good a good pick here as well. Because they like to land uh, accuracy down on your team. And Zulu uh, buffs your team's accuracy, right? So yeah, I think Zulu might be good. So basically, I'm going to give you a few pointers. And you just have to work with those pointers, okay? You don't really have to go out of your way to like make new units uh, for this purpose. I would say like the only unit that you go out of your way to, 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 to build would be Chill because Chill is not that great in Arena, like it or not. Like I'm a big fan of Chill, but she's just not that good in Arena, all right? So like I'm using Chill specifically for this area and since that she's a rare, I'm okay with it. What other units that are good? Slam Bam, King Pen. King Pen will be the best. And uh, moving on to our second point, is the fact that the boss actually reduces his own cooldown time whenever he knocks or breaks your unit. So having strength buff is super big in this stage. I mean like in chaos, it's just very good. Basically, uh, making sure that you don't fall into knock that often basically also negates him from having his skill up that often. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, having all that said, this team did not do 450k. It's supposed to do 450k, but you, you get the point. Like, just now, the AI kind of dumb and all that kind of shit. Like, I would suggest you to, like, manual once and then auto twice. If you're too lazy, that's what you need to do at least. Super boost key is really, 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 really important, okay? So if you're a free-to-play, especially. Alright? So, I will, this, this is how a free-to-play, 30 days old, casual player, uh, Dark Subjugation run should look like so now let's jump onto my dolphin account where i spent 300 dollars on uh and see how that team does okay now we are here at my uh, main this is my main account so i spent like a total of like maybe 280 to 300 dollars so far and this is the team that i use for duck subjugation too bad this guy is not max super boosted yet and i have not have all her his skills uh maxed um but yeah, you know, like, $300 isn't much. You ain't gonna get shit from $300. Let's be real here. So, like, this is my team. And let's see how it does. So, for this team, we have a defense buff. Okay? And I use Defect Resistance Leader because there's no other leader that is useful. Okay? Poison sucks in Duck Subjugation. Do not use Poison. Diminish is way better. Here's the reason why. Because the Duck Subjugation, I mean, the Chaos's health it's basically 10k per bar, okay? As you have, you might have seen in my earlier video on Dark Subjugation, where I was using Nightmare, he has uh, like that team leader skill where he does like diminish when the boss is uh, hit at 90% or more HP. That is, that, that, that keeps rocking because this guy always like, as soon as you hit 10k, it goes to a new HP bar. It goes to a new HP bar. That's how it works. So poison, 10% of that is only 1k damage, which is really shite. Diminish, on, on the other hand, is based on 30% of your attack, so that's pretty good, pretty okay. But, if you want to land Diminish, as I mentioned earlier, you need to have at least 150% upward of effect accuracy. So, this team, I built this team, like I actually put brains into this, this so-called account, okay? The F2P account is just for content, um, and this one is actually my hard work, blood, sweat, and tears, right? Um... I just choose to go for units that just deals outright damage, like ambush just max, super shot stealth elf just max. Stealth elf is just there because I'm poor. <laughs> okay, like if I can, I would definitely switch out uh, stealth elf for an ember. It will be great. You'll be you'll do a lot more damage than just this. Okay, and here also you can see a chill, right? I'll show you the stats on my chill after this. Like uh. It's shit. <laughs> I'll show you all the gears uh, at the end of the video. Okay? At the end of the video. From the free to play to this account to the whale account. I'll show you all the gears and you can see from there and roughly gauge like how far are you or how near you are and like how well you can do and you should be doing that kind of thing. So, um, what are the nice um, leader skills to have? Nightmare's leader skill for me is one of the best. 
Secondly, I feel like effect accuracy would be great because this guy has high, like, uh, wait, wait, wait. His effect accuracy is not that high, but like he, of course, more often than not, he'll be landing his uh, confusion and what do you call it? Uh, accuracy down. You can't fuck with the confusion. So like what I was thinking, if you run a accuracy leader, at least you can negate some of the accuracy down. You get my point? Even if you have like a Zulu to buff your accuracy, it'll be even better. Or uh, just have a cleanser. Uh, I don't have a cleanser. Like the only cleanser that I know that is really good would be a uh, robot. But yeah, that's a legendary unit we we're talking about. But he's really good in PvP as well. So maybe if you have him, you can build him. Not too sure. But as you see, like as I get break on me, he keeps uh, throwing skills, right? Um, that's because of the mechanic I mentioned to you earlier, the mechanics that I mentioned to you earlier, whereby if they, uh, if the chaos knocks you down or breaks you, he will uh, reduce the cooldown time. You see, all skill cooldown time reduced. Um, you see, Chill did his her work there. So from here, we can def I definitely prove to you that Chill is usable. Okay, just that sometimes maybe she will be like Pepega and not land any freeze whatsoever. Um, but that's why we have three runs. I mean, like three, three tries in a day. So like, I don't believe you step on dog shit and fail all three. You know what I'm saying? Like at least one of it, like she does a job. All right. So um, for flashing, you can replace with Mystic Cat. That would be better. Having debuff immunity will negate all this debuffs entirely. No need to care about what accuracy down and confusion shit. Okay. As you can see here, all his skills are on cooldown. So he will be skipping the next turn. You see, now it's my turn again. Cool. So yeah, that's why you bring a uh, freeze. And on top of that, like I brought a uh, defense up, you know, like a, uh, what do you call it? Jetpack. Jetpack is really good here as well because of the defense buff and the fact that she can armor break. And I just like Jetpack overall, okay? Jetpack is a really nice unit. I, I, I think he is a nice unit. Even for PvP, I use him. So yeah, you see, like he keeps breaking me, so he keeps getting his skill up. That's why he keeps skilling up. You know, he keeps uh, uh, doing things to me. All right. So you kind of uh, like having Kingpin here would definitely be so much better because he buffs strength, and strength basically heals your endure endurance, which is really nice. Which is really nice. But too bad I don't have him, and I'm poor, and yeah. So basically, for this account, I'm aiming for 650k, and 650k, once I get it, I'm fine, I'm happy. And if you realize already, I'm really like relying very heavily on Ambush to carry. So if Ambush fucks up, uh, then we, we basically fucked. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, this team can go like, uh, highest I've ever seen is like 790k. Uh, because like, you saw my Ambush missing like a lot, right? Like, missing a lot. So like... Yeah, like it, it, it can go up to 790, um, but for now you see like we did like 712-ish kind of. So like this is what a $300 account uh, looks like. And let me see how many days is this so that you can gauge, you know, like uh, you can compare. Yeah, this is Asia server. So yeah, so uh, this is 28 plus 22 days. So that's 40 days. So that's 40 days. Okay, no, 50 days. Okay, so that's 50 days. Okay, this account is 50 year, uh, 50 days old. Is my maths correct? Yeah, 50 days old. So that is the output you get from a 50 days old hardcore farming $300 account. Let's head on to the whale account. Oh my god, guys. Basically, on this whale account, okay, we're not gonna do it because I'm out of uh, entrance. Actually, I was recording it, but. There was some problem with the recording, so yeah. Uh, we got like around 500 to 600k during our runs earlier that, that I thought I was recording. But here it shows 800k. So as you can see, like this account, this account is most probably like $10,000 upwards worth of spending. Not spending, like he's a, comp he's a compensated player and he got like 330k gems. That's a lot, okay. So this is a very premium account and I'll just show you the team. Uh, I will not show you the stats because it's spoiler for all the upcoming videos. Um, this is the team. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, instead of Barbella, I went with Jetpack, and Jetpack doesn't have anything on him. Okay, the reason why the, the, this 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 
decked out account did not do well is because it doesn't have freeze. It doesn't have enough sustain. Okay? So I think once we're done with Jetpack, this account should do even better. And one more thing that you guys should note that strippers are very, very important also. Not very important, but very useful. Very good. Very, very good here. Because stripping the attack buff is huge. It's really big. It's huge. It's huge. Uh, stripping the uh, attack buff, uh, it goes up to like 75% or even 100%, I'm not too sure. But it stacks, so it goes up to like 75% attack at least. So stripping that shit off is pretty damn good. Like this team earlier when I was recording it, like pit boss really did strip like a lot. So like this pit boss has like 212 effect accuracy. So yeah, it, it, it is really helpful. So let me do a summary of everything. Um, first and foremost, you want to have Freeze, okay, and on top of freeze you want to have uh, Strip and on top of strip what you want to have defense buff uh, Enough heals like I think two healers would be great like I run two healers on my team But if you can sustain with one healer, maybe you can go like for example you don't need to go Jetpack, you can just go uh, Mystic Cat plus Zulu if you're rich. If you're poor, you can go like mine. Jetpack is free, it's given to you at the beginning of the game, and Flash Ring. So, and my 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 alt account, the free to play one, is, is uh, the, he did. That account also has a max Jetpack, it's just that I have not built yet, you know? Like, I kinda, I'm kinda slacking on that account, but that will definitely help. So yeah, four things, right? Freeze, strip, defense buff, heals. That's about it. Right? And like strength buff is really good, but I'm not too sure what other units give strength buff other than Kingpin. So having all that said, I really really hope that you guys have learned something from this video. It's not gonna be a so-called edity kind of video, not a meme-ish kind of video, because this is so-called like a guide. I know I'm quite long-winded. Hopefully you get like at least 50% of what I just said. Just remember, remember all this and try to build units that have all this to for your dark subjugation. Aim for 450k, 650k, 1 million. Keys are very fucking important, okay? Super boost on your legendaries depend on this, okay? You should be focusing on this content, like even build units specifically for this content because it is worth it, okay? So yeah, that's about it. That's from me uh, for this video. I'll show you guys the gears on my free-to-play account and also my main, but not this account. And I guess that's about it. Alright, that's all for this video. As always, I love you all and thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.